It's an app that allows you to meet people um, that are generally living in your area. It really allows you at a glance to make a decision about whether you think someone is dateable. And you swipe one way and you think they're hot, you swipe another way, you think they're not. And apparently Tinder is full of ridiculously good looking, fun loving people just waiting to meet you. <coughs> Except it's not. Because this is an ad. Oh, and no one on Tinder actually looks like that. I had to come over here and tell you that- Hey! Oh my god, you uh, look different in the face. That's not the issue though. The issue is that what starts here apparently ends with teenagers, you know, doing it. This is, my friends, an outrage! Yeah, I've used it with friends. It's, it's a fun app. It's just a, a purely superficial way to look at the people around you, but also to see the sort of photos that people put up there. So it's a bit of fun, but obviously there's a serious side to it as well. That serious side comes from allegations that teens are tindering their way into sexual relationships with strangers. Because it's linked to your Facebook profile, you've got to be at least 13 to use it. And according to the app, 7% of users are under the age of 18. Yeah, that does worry me. I mean, I think at a minimum, um, the age should be increased to the age of consent. That would seem to me to be an obvious no-brainer. I think changing the age is a, is a really bad idea and it's, and it's relatively useless as well because kids will find a way to get around things. We asked Tinder if they'd consider upping user age to 18. We didn't get an answer, but we were told teens can only connect with other teens and that the purpose of Tinder is to meet mutually interested people nearby. She is hot. Screenshot her. Mm, mm, mm. Those interests can range from sex to just sex mainly. Uh huh, honey. So it's only right that the television is asking the big questions. More teens apparently use the app than 35 to 44 year olds. Should parents be concerned? Since it launched in September 2012, Tinder has had more than 1 billion matches, 10 million each day. It's used all over the world in 24 languages and 5% of Australia has a Tinder profile. That's a lot of awkward drinking, followed by a lot of awkward... Wow. <laughs> but seriously though, should parents be concerned? Every adult that I've spoken to was pretty shocked that children as young as 13 could use Tinder. I think for very young people trying to make sense of their desirability and their romantic relationships, all while looking at left and right swipes on a dating app, is really expecting a lot. And it would concern me that they often would be doing this also in secrecy. It all comes back to the issue of why kids are using the technology. If they're just using it to flirt, it's really not a problem. But if they're using it because there's something about their social circumstances that they're not happy with, we need to be addressing those issues, not the technology itself. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Don't panic, Helen. The moral is if you're 13 and on Tinder, that's weird. Go and read a book. Alternatively, if you're 33 and on Tinder, you should probably consider doing the same thing.